Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Flying the Coop playthrough in EU4 with me, your host, Lucky Marine. And we have flown the coop. And we have had our coup. And we are now the United States. So we now just have to march over to uh, the other coast, eat everything on the way, and uh, that'll be us done, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, on we go. On we go. We're nibbling up. Oh, what? Which what? Gain the conquest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nibbling up bits and pieces of natives as we go, as is the American way. Another colonist. Great. Oh, all right. We'll put you there. More colonist is better colonist. Conversions are successful. We'll send you out again. Are you done yet? Come on. Done. Nice one. Take your money. And this. And you can release calls on all of those. Should cut down on rebellions in the area. Done. Fine. Uh, okay. Off you come. Hold on me up. And I don't need this. We're going to be USA. We, don't, we really don't need this. What's our force limit at the moment? 82. Ship force limit? 144. Nice. Found the Indian Trade Company as the USA. Admin skill of at least two would give us missionary sense plus one with no downside. Admin skill of at least two. So all we would need is this guy <clears throat> to be in for another term. And then this will pop up. We'll do that actually. The missionary strength will be... Uh, Fairly useless now, actually. But we'll get it off the board. We'll take it, I suppose. Grand Fleet? Nope. Colony of Caribbean? Nope. No, 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 no. No alliances. No alliances with New World people. They smell. Well, I'm sure they don't smell, but. What's wrong? Why can't? Alright. And they're desperate to get me in a war in the in Europe. I will show you what war it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Russia in an alliance with the Ottomans. And they want us to get involved. On the side of the Ottomans. And I say no. Nope. Cancel. No way. Go away. We're busy growing. As the United States. Alright. Breaking truth. Breaking truth. Till when? August 1636 really all right well stand down the forces uh, not all the way because we're still colonizing and that will do gaining core provinces good Michigan what are you might as well uh, no Okay. All right. Fur trade. Lose all the ducats. And for ten years, local goods produced goes up. However, 
Native of North America have always traded and sold animal furs, and the Europeans colonising America started participating in the trade from the beginning of their arrival. The British established trading post early and has become one of the main economic ventures in North America. The fur trade in the USA has gotten a, has gotten a setback in recent years and although Europe is screaming for all furs, the supply from USA is steadily lessening. If we will be able to capitalise on this trade and remove the British strangled hold over it, our nation would flourish. Hmm. Now to me, I think if we if we kickstart the fur trade, to me in my mind, if we overshoot the uh, beaver, then we'll get local goods produced going up for a time, but then afterwards it'll just crash because there won't be any. We'll just hunt them all into extinction which is where where it says we get the American fur trade until 26 November 1643 so for 10 years we get goods produced up but then what happens afterwards hmm well Never been here, never taken this decision. We will take it, and we'll find out. But in my mind, it's... I can see it being a, uh, a short-term good thing, but long-term, not so good. But we'll find out. We'll find out. What's that done for... What has that done for our income? Only 40% trade efficiency. That's why we need trade ideas. Production 45. That's not bad, actually. Spending a lot on advisors. Spending a lot on rooting out of corruption. Yeah, we need this number down to manageable amounts. The quicker we can get this number down, the better. Uh, we also need to buy more ships, so keep that in mind. Call needs health sustaining. Excellent. This one. Go. Shuffle over. Conversions coming in. Nice. Off you go. Convert things. Be quick. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not getting involved. Especially not getting involved on the side of the Ottomans. Wow. Nope. Nope. Choctaw. Yes. Although we've got a truce until 1636 with these guys, so there's no point in breaking the truce. Losing stability. Alright. Good. What was that? New trade good for our oh, truces. Yep. We're at war with all these and we were winning. Easily winning. Oh well. What can you do? Where do we have issues? Nowhere really. A little bit in Detroit. Hmm. Right, yeah, the cultures that are not ours, not properly ours, will be from where we've brought natives in. Or where we've stolen colonies from other countries. It's been Dutch up here, I think. Yeah. Uh, 
All right. There was something that I was about to do. There was something that I was about to do, and I can't remember for the life of me what it was. It's to do with money. Yep. Corruption is now down at zero, so we will root out all the less corruption. Well, not quite as that much less. There we go. Make a decent amount of money, and now we can start spending money on ships. Even more ships. Merchants are doing poorly. Well, not losing stability because they're doing poorly. They'll just have to get better. Get good. How many is that? 154 of 144? That'll be alright. More fur. Robber barons? Robber barons? Robber barons? In the USA. Really? Production or tax? We would want tax. Alright. Who is... Yeah, either or. They're about the same amount of influence. Uh, the book. Both the estates are pretty much the same amount of influence, so we'll go for the tax because the tax costs admin power. Alright. Wait for them to finish and then chuck them all down into the Caribbean. As we don't have the range to send them anywhere else just yet, but at least we've got them built and out and trading and doing stuff. Good. That's four colonies on the go. Alright. Okay. Oh no. Someone has died. Quick. Find a replacement. Uh, too trade efficient, guys. You having a laugh? Come on, guys. Alright. Well, you for now. But I need to change you out. Never force them what if I? That will be nice. <clears throat> wow, what policies does that allow? Global settler increase, yup. Global settler increase, yup. Alright. We may need to focus Diplo guys for a while. I'm not going to risk bringing him in for another term. Oh, yeah, I will, I will. September 1638. All right. Yeah, we'll bring him in, which will satisfy this, the establishment of Sunday schools. We'll take this for the extra missionary strength. Yep. Oh, ship's done. Trade in the Caribbean. Off you go. We'll see what that's done. Once I've been down here for a while. And... Right, okay. 56%. Yeah, we're, we're pulling the line share north now. There's not much that's leaking out. turn this node into well <laughs> 28 ducats for you how about over in the old world our old one is only 32 our old primary train node is only 32 37 in Genoa not oh, 12 in Venice wow so yeah we're fairly fairly rich up here actually States. We'll need more than that. We'll need a lot more than that. 
Guinea Coal Provinces. Like it. No, no way. Can we slander you yet? All right. We'll allow you to expand north as much as you want. We've already got beyond you. But we won't allow you to pen us in. That way, um, Spanish Louisiana can colonize. Okay. Can colonize their way up here. And it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like eight extra that we don't have to colonize. We can just take from Spanish Louisiana. Or from Spain, even. But I'm sure. I'm sure Britain would be well up for that fight. Alright. Good. Let's. No, we don't need to. We'll go in at half. Half cock. Done. Yep. Mm. Not losing stability. Again, Republican tradition ticks up over time. So, easy decisions. Although, because we went to war, our own maintenance has immediately gone up. Can we bring down into corruption? We can't. What about there? Decent amount of in. Let's build stuff. Plantations. One of these institutions is based off manufacturers and it spawns. Yep, it, sp it spawns in places where you have manufacturers. So we want to be getting them up and running. Quick shot. Starting to make quite a decent amount. Oh, that one? Done. Right, Illinois. And that's you done. Let's invite you into the fold. Get rid of all of these. Don't want the uh, rebels popping. If you get, let them get rid of their cores, then rebels go to the places where like um Kakoya Kakoya rebels would uh would roam around the country to uh places that still had their cause. Actually no it wasn't it was uh yeah Choctaw. Choctaw. So getting rid of their cause in other places uh will isolate any rebels that pop to just this one place. It's just, it's peace of mind, really. Grand Fleet, no, 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 no. Fifty-seven ducats. Fifty-seven. It's fifty-seven ducats. Right. We also need. need you over here to, is this? Go on, go. We need to unlock, or uncover all of this. Let's not go through the colony. Oh no. Privilations or global tariffs. Uh, Privilations go on them. So we're making enough money to put a level three in here. Making enough to put level three in all of them actually. Why can't you? 
Well, I can't. You. Hmm. Right. Can't help those seven cities, that's fine. But we have a conquistador. And we want to go in here. Is it just. It can't be permanent terror in Conganisa, is it? No. I know this is. I know this is. So why aren't we allowed in there? Why are we allowed to move in there with a conquistador? <clears throat> hmm. Anyway, that was my arm. I will ponder over that for a while. I can't imagine it's terra incognita. Proper terra incognita. I don't want to be having to colonize around it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, uh, all the natives are on our way now. Uh, we can just colonize all the way through. We're in 1637. We're about to, I believe. Nope, we've got all the colonists that we're ever going to get. One, oh, four. Four colonists. We will actually... We'll rip you out of there. And all right, put you in there. Do what we said we would do, which was have five colonists and have four colonists and five colonies on the go at any one time to make the most of the money that we're bringing in which is quite a considerable amount actually okay well I've been looking marine as always you have been amazing join me next time for what well, more of this really just more of this lots of colonizing we will try to get these guys to flip out against their overlords uh, we'll take them and feed them Canada Essentially, let's uh, tarnish your reputation, shall we? Can we not? Take a foreign debt, break alliance, nope, nope. Diplotech 21. Diplotech 27. Wow. Okay. Anyway, we might leave that then. Uh, we'll we'll probably leave a a, a a diplomat locked on Norway. So at that time, when it comes about, we're uh, we're ready for the off. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I hope you join me in the next episode, and I hopefully we'll see you there. Take care.